changes in the Alzheimer's brain due to the accumulation of plaques and tangles that affect nerve cell function and viability, the normal brain undergoes many changes. After autopsy, these can be seen in whole brains as a decrease in the size and the appearance of deep sulci between the folds in the brain. If we look at the differences in cross-sections of a normal and Alzheimer's brain, we can learn more about the underlying changes. The smaller Alzheimer's brain shows reduced amounts of both white matter and gray matter. The depths of the sulci are also very evident. Changes in the living brain can be seen using various neuroimaging techniques. There are many types, including PET, MRI, and EEG. These can be used to visualize changes and activity in various brain regions. The image on the left compares active regions of brain activity shown in red as detected by a type of PET scan. Other approaches can detect amyloids in the brain. As another example, the enlargement of brain ventricles that occurs during Alzheimer's can be seen using MRI, as shown in these diagrams. They are commonly referred to as holes in the brain that result from brain cell death. In summary, the Alzheimer's brain decreases in size and the size and depth of sulci increase. Brain ventricles increase in size as well. Many brain changes can be assessed by brain imaging techniques that are becoming more useful in diagnosing and following the progression of Alzheimer's disease.